Some visuals are ingrained in our brains from a young age. If I asked you to visualize a child's bank, what would you imagine? Okay, the title of the video probably gave it away, but you more than likely imagined a piggy bank. A small little ceramic pig with a slot on the top for throwing coins, tokens, cheez-its, and whatever else would fit in there. The piggy bank is somewhat synonymous with the concept of a child saving money, or even just money in general. But where did the idea of the piggy come into play? Did the ancient man once store their coins in actual live pigs? Hopefully not, so let's explore the history of the piggy bank and how swine-shaped ceramic statues became so prevalent. Flicks. Entertaining, educating, and enlightening. People in the olden days were much less trusting than we are today, and the concept of storing all your money with someone based purely off trust didn't exactly fly back then. Folks during the Middle Ages would instead store their coins at home, often in an orange-colored clay pot known as Pug, spelled as P-Y-G-G. -G. You may already get an idea where this is going, right? Now, languages evolve in a sort of weird way as time goes on. The letter Y used to sound like a modern U, but eventually came to be pronounced as an I. As people found new and creative ways to say words, Pug slowly became stylized as Pig, P-I-G-G-E. Over the next few centuries, crafty potters that received requests for pig banks would create a jar in the shape of a pig. Whether the result of an accident, a pun, or just pure luck, the piggy bank was born and was a massive hit across Europe. These were much less jar-shaped and more statuesque, often featuring a little slot in the top with no way to get the money out after insertion. The earliest models didn't have that nifty plug in the bottom for removing your valuables, so the only way was to shatter the entire thing to see what you had stored up. As an extra fun fact, some people believe that this is where the term breaking the bank originates, though there isn't that much in the way of proof. Kind of neat though. Today, the piggy bank is practically inseparable from the idea of finances. The piggy bank is often used as a larger metaphor for one's entire wealth. The piggy can be seen on the faces of ads for banks, insurance companies, investors, and more. In some European countries, the pig is actually still seen as a sign of good financial fortune, and fancy ceramic pigs known as lucky pigs are given as gifts during New Year's to bring in good fortune for the new year. Despite being the product of an accident, or a pretty clever pun, the piggy bank perseveres and continues to be inseparable from finances as a whole. Three Minute Flicks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We create new videos weekly.